Hey guys, welcome to today's video, which is about what are the best black pens out there. As an avid black pen collector, I decided to make a video about which is the best one, so let's get into it. So for the basis of this comparison between all these pens, I decided to make a few criteria which include price, so is it affordable, the grip, is it comfortable, does it have good ink flow, is it smooth, and does it smudge when you wipe your finger over it or highlight it. And I used Zebra Mod Liners in pastel colors to see if it smudges, and so you can really see how badly it smudges, and I'm warning you it does. So first up is the Zebra Sarasa Gel Pen collection. I have a bunch of them. So first up is the regular one, the Zebra Sarasa in 0.5mm. It's actually my favorite pen out there. The ink is super smooth, however, it does have one issue, and that it is very smudgy when you highlight it so i always highlight the next day but it's not so great for that and i also have it in 0.7 millimeters it's the same pen just a bit thicker however this one as you could probably tell does smudge a lot more as it is a thicker pen next is the zebra sarasa mark on and these are specifically designed to prevent highlighter smudges it's like a special ink formula it's not as smooth as the normal Zebra Sarasa, but it still is pretty smooth and look, no highlighter smudge. I also have it in the 0.5 millimeter size, so just a bit thicker. However, I do notice that the ink does tend to smudge a bit more on this. I'm also highlighting like 5 seconds after. So the Zebra Sarasa Dry is meant for lefties and it's designed to dry quickly. So if you're left handed and everything smudges, this pen is meant for you. However, I think the 0.5mm is a bit thicker so it does tend to smudge a bit more with a highlighter and the Zebra Sarasa Speedy, apparently they're like the same ink formula, just branded different. I guess it's supposed to dry speedy. The ink is basically the same as the dry, so it's also meant for left-handers. And the vintage, I just decided to throw it in even though it's not really black at all. It's a sepia, which is a very dark brown. And you can see this when I highlight the pen and then I'll show you. It's kind of brownish. But I just included it in here for fun. So here is the overall of the Zebra Sarasa. So moving on to Muji gel pens. These are also pretty popular. I have them in all three sizes. The capped ones have a super uncomfortable grip, but the retractable ones are nice and comfortable, but they stopped selling those. I find all Muji pens to be super smooth. However, they are terrible at highlighting. They just don't do well. And the capped ones are just super uncomfortable for long periods of time, so I don't really recommend those. And conspiracy theory time. So if you're deciding between the Zebra Sarasa and Muji pens, they're basically the same thing, so no need to worry. I think the same companies make it, they just have different branding. So these are the Pilot High Tech C pens. They're a really cool line of needle tip pens. However, the grip is very uncomfortable for long periods of time, I am warning you. And it's great if you want like a super thin pen because these ones are needle tip. However, they are terrible when it comes to highlight and they are terrible for left-handers as they tend to smudge quite a bit, especially the 0.5 millimeter, which I will show you right now. And it's just like, this is the worst one. This smudged the most, so I definitely don't recommend this for highlighting or just, it's just not a great pen in general. Next are just a bunch of miscellaneous ones. This is the Kakuyo Campus Vivid Dry, and it's also meant to dry very fast. It's great for left-handers, but the grip is not really comfortable. It's like a plastic type thing. And I just bought this because, you know, Kakuyo makes really great items in general, and this one does not smudge. However, it does smudge with highlighters, so beware. Next is the Pilot Juice in 0.4 millimeters. It has like a very soft, light silicone grip. It's sort of comfortable, but honestly, it's a pretty average and normal pen. The ink is pretty smooth. And then here I just messed up, so I'm just crossing it out but it highlights fairly okay 
And the Pilot G2 is this pen that's really great. It has a really nice grip. It's super comfortable to write with and the ink is super smooth. I mean like it glides across the paper and it's somewhat smudges when highlights too. Next is the Pentel Energel. It's a pretty popular pen. I don't have the original but I have like this kind of similar one. It's the Infree but basically it's the same thing as the regular one and it highlights very well. There's basically no smudge and the ink is very smooth. Okay that was the last pen and now I'm just gonna go over all my recommendations for each pen, which one is the best in each category, and my overall thoughts. For the smoothest ink, I am going with Zebra Sarasa and the Pilot G2. These are super smooth and the ink just glides across the paper. It's a very enjoyable writing experience if you haven't tried these before. Next is the best smudge proof ones, ones that I recommend for left hand people and if you want to highlight immediately it's the Zebra Sarasa Markon in 0.4 millimeters and the Pentel Energel. These are great pens for doing that so I'm just going to show you a little comparison right here. I'm just writing it. This is literally two seconds later and I'm like going on full with highlighter and these do not smudge at all. So they're really great pens. The ink formula is really good. And the highlighter has no smudge marks. Next is the Pilot G2 which has the best grip. It's very comfortable and it's also one of the most affordable ones at $1.60 so I would definitely recommend this one. But the overall winner I would say is the Zebra Sarasa Mark on in 0.4. It's super smooth and it also doesn't smudge and it's affordable. I would definitely recommend this pen as the best one out of my collection. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video. That's a wrap. I'll see you this week actually again for another video. See you soon. Bye bye.